Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to answer a question from Jeff Mayhar. Uh, Jeff is KD8KPT. Hello, Mr. Kassler. First, I would like to thank you for your excellent videos. Thank you. I've had a real help as I'm setting up my first shack. We even met in person at 2018's Dayton Hamvention. Oh, I miss the Hamvention. Um, I was there in 2018 and 2019. I'm interested in awards and DX chasing and having trouble selecting a good multiband antenna at my QTH and have a few questions. I'm leaning toward a 66 foot 40 meter off center fed dipole that um, the reference station antenna is a 66 foot long uh, off center fed dipole that works on 40, 20, uh, 10 and 6. Uh, which are good bands, but not all inclusive. Uh, if you're doing a wire antenna, it's real hard to get a lot of bands. Uh, you can look at the, uh, uh, let's see, it would be the Alpha Delta DXEE antenna, which has more bands. Um, there are lots of things going on here, okay. Um, says to direct a little gain toward Europe, very little gain. Uh, dipoles in the book have gain off the sides, but in reality, they're pretty unidirectional. Um, let's see. But the only way I can fit this would be to hang the feed point from a branch 40 to 50 feet up and run each leg out to other trees. To achieve this, I would have to run the antenna through branches and leaves. Question one, how will this affect propagation and the SWR of this or any other wire antenna? I see conflicting information across the internet. Actually, you're fine. Let's uh, back this camera up so we can see the, uh, the whole whiteboard here. Let me move this, if I can, over here. Okay, we're going to... Uh, you've got a tree... And you've got trees over here. Now, if you run the dipole up the coax up the tree trunk, you're fine. There's no issue doing this at all. You can um, you can do that. You can strap it to the tree, tie it to the tree, whatever you want to do. Be gentle with coax. It does crush. Um, put your feed point here and make kind of an inverted V or something like that. Okay. Now, if you are going to do this, I would suggest insulated wire. Okay. Because if this wire will rub into a branch, it's going to hit the sap layer, which is wet and conductive, okay, and uh, can cause a problem with your signal. Now, a lot of the antennas, like the reference antenna, are uh, made from um, uninsulated wire. So you might want to make your own antenna, I don't know, a uh, 40 meter dipole or something like that. Uh, if you want to treat it as a doublet and use it on other bands, you'd have to bring ladder line up. Now, the ladder line is a little different. The ladder line needs standoffs here so that the line can come up. And you can purchase these little standoffs. They'll screw into the tree so that you can bring your ladder line up here all the way to the top without it affecting the... Um, out of affecting the ladder line. If you put it right next to the tree, it will affect it. Uh, because ladder line, unlike coax, ladder line, unlike coax, um, is sensitive to what is around it. So you want to keep it several inches away from anything going on. But this is a perfectly good 
antenna that you can put up here. Um, again, I would recommend insulated where it is in the trees. Note that the high voltage points are at the end. So you want to make sure that that's either insulated uh, or uh, maybe out in the open and then you can attach it with rope to the tree itself, okay? So you're fine uh, doing that, I think. Um, how will this affect propagation in SWR of this or any other wire antenna? Well, remember rule number one in antennas. Everything affects everything. So, yeah, sure, there'll be some impact, but you should be able to tune it out. So, um, I think you'll be in good shape with that. I hope that helps. This is a, a nice setup, and you're blessed to have trees that are that tall. Note that the trees will sway independently. So, put bungee cords, long bungee cords, um, in here to kind of keep that antenna uh, where it's supposed to be so that the trees can sway independently. Okay. Um, alrighty, yeah, you don't want uh, this poor thin little wire trying to keep a tree in place. Not gonna work, it'll come apart. So there you have it. If any of you would like to support this channel financially, you certainly may. Go to decastlercom slash support and look for the many different ways that you can support this channel. I also encourage you to subscribe. Uh, when you subscribe to my channel, you are giving YouTube your vote of confidence in my channel. It's not going to load up your inbox with a bunch of anything. Um, it's just a way that you can say, hey, I like this channel. This channel, please show it to others too. And I'd appreciate that very much. So until we next meet, 73. <music>